y'all. I'm going to try and make a little um, video of me actually doing something. Okay. I got this pot at um, Lowe's, I'm sure. And I think it was $2.38. And I did not get the bottom part of it because I don't need that. My pots will be sitting on the ground or somewhere outside, so I don't need to worry about that. Now then, I got this sample, and it was originally $3.68, and I got it for $1.20. Now that's the color. I haven't taken the lid off of it yet, and let me see if I can tell what this is for. It's satin. It doesn't have a color on here. So we're just going to have to take our chances. Um, I love buying these things. It's so cheap. So, well. <laughs> Let me see if I can loosen this up. Oh, yes. Okay, got it. This old lady's not as strong as she used to be. Now, what I'm going to start by doing first is I'm just going to um, paint the lip, the edge, and we'll see how the color looks. Now, I used to get a lot of these, and I always painted them. I'd paint the bottom one color. I'd paint the edge another color. I'd paint the whole thing one color, and then I would put little somethings, like swirls or something. I can't paint, so there were never any uh, flowers or leaves or anything like that. But they're so much fun, and you don't have to water as often because clay is very porous and it dries out very quickly. So... I think I'll move my toaster a little bit. I'm not spray painting, but you never know. So we'll see how this works. This is my favorite, favorite paintbrush, y'all. It's a little angled paintbrush, and it's by Purdy. And I've had this for so long. I love this paintbrush. So anyway, I'm going to dip it in here and see what we come up with. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see that. Do you see that? Now, most of the time when I do something like this, I don't use a paintbrush. I use a um, sponge paintbrush. So, I don't know about this color. One thing is it's light, so I can change it. And this stuff is drying like you couldn't believe. So, what do y'all think about that color? Definitely, it would need to have a second coat. But it's a nice neutral color, so I could put anything with it. And one of the things I like about doing the lip first is once you get that painted and it's good and dry, you can put some wide masking tape. You don't. You just need to um, get it really, really good and stuck along the bottom of the ridge. And the rest of it can just kind of poke up there. And you don't really have to do much to protect it. So... That's my little end of the day project. My microwave keeps coming unplugged. Let me see. Yep, 618, I was sitting there. There's nothing on television. So I decided I would just do a tiny project. Now, hold on a second. Let me show you something. These little beads, they're, what are they called? Glass 
gems. They come in this blue. I have some kind of clear looking. They come in a couple of other cup, uh, couple of colors. Now, y'all, these are a dollar a bag. Now, I talked about using them on my mailbox post. You can do so many things with these, y'all. I could take these beads out, and I could do the rim of this pot. Or I could do the whole pot. But anyway, it just is in... I don't know. I think I'm going to do my mailbox post with them. But first, I have to get a glue gun. Because no way do I want to put super glue out there and not be able to get these off. But aren't those pretty? They use them in all kinds of stuff. They use them in uh, flower vases, aquariums. You can use these for so many things. And they're so pretty. Anyway, y'all. I'm just going to finish painting my pot and see how it turns out, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.